Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Big hello and thank you to all the new subscribers joining us. I sure do appreciate it. Um, so, the weather in my neck of the woods is still freezing cold. Cold. And the wind has been blowing, blowing, blowing. They recorded some gusts right here up the street at my house at 72 knots yesterday. Hard to do anything in that kind of wind, you understand. So, it's a little bit windy today, 25, 30, somewhere in there. It seems like it's starting to die down. Ugh. So, um, we wrapped up this little 15 Evan Rude. Um, found a few things wrong with it as far as it's cooling and so forth and some other problems. But it's ready to go, so I'm going to take this one out here, and then I'm going to get that other 15 in here, and we're going to see if it'll... At least start, run, see what it's doing, and uh, we'll go from there. If I have time, I might bring that little Suzuki four-stroker in here and just see, give it a quick fax check, just a quick, actually not even a fax check, just look it over and see what we got with that thing. So that's what we're going to do in this video, and then I got a couple other things I want to show you that I'm doing that some subscribers asked about, and I'll show you those. So let's get going okay you will see what I'm going to see it's going to be a little bit noisy um, because I have to uh, turn on the old sucker fan so I'll crack my little door behind me too but it's still going to be a little noisy I'm thinking I'm a thing, you know, I'm a thing. Is that all about? Don't ask me. All right. All righty. You will see what I see. I got the little 15 Yamaha in the tank. And let's squeeze that bulb. It is ice cold, has not been started. You'll see what I see. A little stiff. Okay, there, I guess. Right, this one neutral. Let's make sure she pull over okay. All right, let's see. Chokes out. Bulby squeezing. We're in neutral. short pull rope on it.
thing over just an inch so it stops that.
Decisions, decisions, decisions. Well, I don't know. Um, I started that from a cold start, this little Yamaha 15. Um, carburetor, I heard it schnizzle a couple times, do a little sneezes. I heard that. So, I reached it out just a little, little, little bit, little, little bitty bit. Seemed to straighten it kind of out. Um, I can only go so many RPMs in this little tank. It is too windy today for me to... Um, get this thing on the back of my little Boston Whaler and get it out there for a test run. But that's what I'm going to have to do, weather permitting. And this hunter, this guy, this bar... Rawr. Did I mention that I think next to them polar bears, these Kodiak bars are the biggest in the wide, 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 wide world? Something to do with their head or something. No, but anyway, he'll be over here in four days, and I've got to get, if the weather don't turn, and let me get this thing out for a run, all I'm going to be able to do is have it in the tank when he gets here and show him what I'm getting in the tank and explain to him, hey. When you live on a rock in the middle of the North Pacific Island and the cold winds blow. Sometimes there's not a lot I can do. You understand? So, let me see if I can get switched around again. And we'll bring another one sort of like, not really, but kind of like, just a little, like the other one. I'll be back. Time to start wire wheeling, but uh, that's the really the first time this bike has been run with a tank and on its own, where it was actually running, from what I understand, in 17 or 18 years, and it's been sitting outside in the Alaska environment uh, for those 17 or 18 years. So that means at times, because it's it's only three houses down from me. That means at times this bike was completely, and I mean completely, by two or three feet completely covered in snow. So, pretty amazing. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. There's the little Suzuki, four stroke. So I guess even Suzuki can have Friday motors. You see the uh, paint on this? Completely gone. Same with the uh, very lower unit and even the mid there. No primer that I can see. So. Let's look at the under the hood. Can't feel it, but I don't think it's a tooth flat. Look at this here, Earl. 
Well, that ain't the dipstick then. That's the fill. You can see a little in there, I think. I see a fuel filter. Well, from what I'm seeing, I didn't see much oil on this here dipstick. Put it back in. And there we go. There's a little bit on the very tip. That's it. So my guess is that oil might be in these cylinders. Let me get my spark plug, Suzuki spark plug wrench, and get that out there. I'll be right back after I get those plugs out. Well, I pulled out the spark plugs. It was not hydrolock, but it was stuck. Um, so I went ahead and put my Sparky Spider on there. And it wasn't stuck bad. So I just spun it over with a little 3 8 inch ratchet. I just, and it wasn't stuck real bad. And then I sprayed a little trifo in the cylinder. Watch right in here. I got the Sparky Spider hooked up. Heck, are you in there? Yeah. These top two. Okay, so it's got spark and it turns over. But when I spin that half-inch Milwaukee on that flywheel, something does not feel right to me. Um, looking at the spark plugs, I saw no sign of any kind of hydrolock. They're nice and tan. Look like they were burning well. But something to me just feels a little rough in there. I don't know. So at this point, um, I think I'm just going to, before I spend a whole lot of time on this thing, um, I think I'm just going to throw it in the tank and see if it'll start. I'll be right back. Now, let me show you what I'm getting. Let me turn this off for a second. Um, I've got the fuel hooked up. I felt it go in, but she won't run. Um, I get a little intake cleaner give it a shot down there and I'll try this before. but she will try and rub it We've got the old blockage, but she's not stuck. Hang on a second, let me suck it. I forgot. I'm gonna kill myself in here. Suck some of that out. And so, I'll be back. Nice aluminum snow shovel somebody chucked in the dumpster. All because the edges is boogered up.
Taking apart, putting the ultrasonic cleaner, and ba da ba da ba da ba da biddy 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 bang, and yeah ba da ba do. That's what I'm gonna have to do. So, um, well, it's not seized. It will it uh, at least pop over and run a little. Um, a lot of work on it. Like I said, it's one of them kind of like the uh, OMCs in their last years. They decided prima. We don't need no stinking primer. Because if this one had primer on it, it didn't work. Because just about all the paint. But uh, I think there's hope that it will be a good little kicker. Still don't know. I mean, it will pop over and run, but you could uh, have a lot of other issues um, in there. Because when I Spun it over with the uh, Milwaukee half inch. Boy, it just didn't feel as smooth as I thought it should be. So, once I get it to where it'll run on its own, who knows? Some, you know, maybe one of those bearings in there could be all rusty or something. I don't know. You just never know. You just never know. So, uh, before this video gets too long, I think that's going to be a wrap on this one. And as always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass.